welcome back to another vlog we are in jordan we're in amman which is the capital of jordan we're going to be here for about four days it's kind of like a family slash adventure experience trip mo is actually from jordan so his family lives here they live about an hour away from the capital so we're gonna go see them today and then the rest of the trip we're gonna do like little adventure things we're gonna go exploring and we're gonna go to Petra which is the treasury we're also going to be going to the Dead Sea and just doing some exploring here around the capital which looks really beautiful I'm standing in front of a huge window we're staying at the Fairmont Hotel and we are quite high up and the view here is insane so I'm gonna show that to you guys this is the view out of our hotel room. How beautiful. I love that all the buildings are white too. It makes everything look really nice and bright. It is Sunday morning, by the way. So today is gonna be family day. We still haven't had breakfast yet, so we're gonna get something to eat and then um, hit the road. It's gonna take about an hour to get there. I really like my outfit today. I'm gonna show this to you guys downstairs because the lighting where the big mirror is is not that great but um i really like it and mo also looks quite dashing he's wearing a suit hello guys fit today for going to see his family this blouse is new from Zara I love it so much the colors are really pretty and then I have on these black pants from Zara as well they're kind of like um, high-waisted and quite flowy and my vest is from Massimo Dutti my shoes are from John Vito Rossi they're these nude pumps that I love and then my bag is from Furla so that's my look for today and how beautiful by the way I'm in the bathroom right now at the place that we just had something to eat and it is so gorgeous this whole hotel is absolutely beautiful Ajlun, Ajlun, which is where Mo's family lives and this is his dad's side of the family so he does have family that lives in Germany but this is his like extended family and his grandma's there his aunts and uncles it's been seven years since Mo was last in Jordan so he also hasn't seen his family in a really long time so I'm not sure how much of today I'm gonna be filming because I'm quite like I'm really excited but I'm also a bit nervous to like meet everyone so I don't know if I'm going to be taking out my camera to like vlog and everything but maybe I'll get some of the food because I'm sure the food's going to be really delicious hey guys super excited to come in with Annie we're visiting my family and um, um, I'm actually a little bit nervous because you know after seven years there happens a lot of stuff so I'm actually super excited gotta be good food and like I'm so excited for this food. yeah and they are like actually so <laughs> nervous I, I think they're more nervous than us yeah. and uh, that's why like it's gonna be very nice a lot of love this part here is really green that's interesting because then, where then we closer, came from is yeah then closer you come to Ajun then greener it gets we're in the countryside now of Aljun where most family lives there's a beautiful house just there where we're all sitting but on the drive here we saw these big trees there's also little grape trees down here but I was super excited about the figs so I want to see if I can pick one and see if they're they're good to eat yeah try it wow it looks good looks good wow oh my god how is it 
incredible. That is so good. Can I try? Mm. Oh my god. Mm. That's so incredible. Wow. This one is hard. Oh, this is soft. This one's this one's probably good. Mmm. So good. Eating figs directly off of a tree, definite highlight. It is Monday today. We're going to be spending the day in Amman today and right now we're going to go and meet um, Mo's cousin. She's been living here for a really long time, right? She knows everything about the city. Yesterday was really fun. We met all of, or I met, all of Mo's family for the first time. We had lots of food and I don't speak Arabic so I was kind of just like, they kind of speak a little bit of English so it wasn't that easy to communicate with everyone but they were all really full of love and um, happiness for me and Mo. We also went to go visit Mo's dad yesterday and Mo's father actually passed away about eight years ago. We went to his grave and we did a little prayer over his grave. The emotion just over took me but it was really special that we were able to do that yesterday I feel like he's always watching over us and it was just really a really beautiful moment to go there yesterday and um, to experience that together so yeah but today's also gonna be a really nice day I'm really excited to go and see a man again eat some good food <laughs> I miss you, miss you Take you off, I came, your weight is strong Cannot keep it low-key Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof Auto, your taste It's really a bad reception out there Where are you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? I've lost you Off my radar now I've lost you Telling you that I need you But you're off my radar now Found myself in between the lines Underneath your bed sheets It started fun But now I'm into deep Into this flow A zero sum game that I will lose There's no zipping past it Every time you walk away from me, I want you How could I want you more? Oh, when did I lose my perspective? Oh God, have I lost it? But my cravings for you so shameless, king We've just got into a restaurant called Sufra Restaurant which is in downtown Amman and it's a traditional Jordanian restaurant and it's so cute they have all these beautiful flowers and it's really like nicely decorated Mo standing here with me Hey hey we actually got a lot of good stuff We, we got wanted, like, everything <laughs> Yeah we want to just show you a little bit of everything and there's one thing which is called mensaf it's actually the traditional food Normally it comes with meat, but we ordered it without. But it's super cute and you can actually see the view and the guys here. This is the view from the restaurant. So this is all of the city of Amman. And then we've got this nice greenery around. And then down here is the restaurant part, but we just wanted to come up to this cute little rooftop area to have a look. Uh, 
basically it's called mensa. Okay. It's rice with a um, kind of a tahini jo yogurt sauce. It's so good. It's so traditional. And you know, in in, in Jordani, you eat this, you eat this uh, with hands. So you make actually a ball with your hands and you eat it with hands. With, without bread, also. Without bread, yeah. Ah. Right? It's very good. I want to try this. What is this? Yeah. This is this uh, these are tomatoes, fresh tomatoes with onions and garlic. It's very natural. There's just natural stuff. Mm. It's good, right? That's really good. up here because we want a view from the top over there for a picture. We've arrived at the very top of this viewpoint to look over the treasury. Do you guys see how high up we are? The view from up here is insane. Look how small the people are. It's one of the seven wonders of the world. So it's really exciting to see this crazy how huge it is. Now we have to get down. <laughs> This is how it used to look like in 1839. Yeah. So the statues are still exactly. in See, it form. Look like and this is what it looks like now. So huge, my goodness. Less details, yeah. It's been carved directly into the rock from one piece. So incredible. Woo! Video, but 
That was so much fun. So we are now on the road to the Dead Sea, which is gonna take us about three hours, I think, two, three hours. And hopefully we're gonna get there just in time before sunset. Because we're only here for such a short time, we are like we have to cram in as much as possible into one day. Okay, we also wanted to go to Wadi Room, which is I think an hour from Petra, but it's in a different location or a different direction. So we'll have to do that next time we're here. But Petra was beautiful. It's so huge. You stand there and you feel like this big. But yeah, it was really nice. I would highly recommend it if you guys are coming to Jordan or if you've been thinking about it. It's really, really beautiful. This is so exciting. Everyone's putting mud directly on their skin. We literally arrived just at sunset. We just made it. I want to take some mud with me. I brought some bottles to fill. Oh, it's so warm. Baby, come here. Look at this woman. <laughs> She's all covered from head to toe in that mud. That's goals. Oh, it's really smooth. Like it feels thick. It feels really thick. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. It's so soft. Oh my goodness. This is so crazy. So guys. Been inside the water. This is the mud that you put on your face, you leave it a little bit, you let it dry, then you wash it off. It's like a mask. There's so far inside, you can smell it a little bit. It's crazy. So these are rocks just next to the water. Do you guys see all of the salt formation on here? Oh my gosh, that is incredible. I got myself some salt water and this is the mud that they're putting all over their body. I tried to fill it up as much as I could. I'm gonna use this tonight in the shower at the hotel. Yay, so excited. We are sitting at the airport. It is our last day here in Jordan and we've had such a good time. We're just looking through the pictures. Mo was taking forever to decide what picture he's gonna post from Petra because there's just so many nice ones. Show them which one you chose. I chose this one. How amazing is this picture? <laughs> 